Our Grand Tank is nearly there. We're getting very close to the finishing line now. This week, Daz and Jess assemble the 37mm gun, drop the drive shaft in, and Ryan helps the boys out with the very first test drive. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Well, we're going to try to go at putting this 37mm gun together into the mantlet. This is the mantlet, and this is what we're calling the rotor. What we're going to get is Jess on the forklift, and he's going to put the forks through here, pick this up, balance it here, and we're going to manoeuvre it and wiggle it into this position here. And once that's in, that's, that'll be the hardest bit, then we can put other bits in and, and keep working from there. Perfect. The factories in the US during World War II would have had a jig that would have made assembly very easy. But Daz and Jess have to get a little bit creative. Yep. across a bit, just hold there. Yeah, right there. That's, it's, just go up a fraction. Whoa. Go up a bit. Whoa. Go up a bit. Whoa. Go in a bit. Oh, I don't think we'll get them just yet. Let me just jump around the other side. It's proving to be a little bit tricky to get into position. top here, you haven't got your cone on, so see how it's hitting the top? Yeah. It's got to go down and in. It's hitting on here. No, you tilt forward if you want to come in. It's got to be. Trial and error. Trial and error. That didn't work either. Let's try something else. Up a bit. Well, up a fraction. Success. The cradles for the pivot arms and the covers for the bearings go on. to the elevation handle assembly. So, so that goes 
goes up there and then you can lock that pin in there. In there. Okay. And see the cogs on this side? It's such a simple bit of engineering, but it's so satisfying seeing it all come together. That's nice and smooth, they just come and have a go at this. The vision port on the mantlet is connected to the rotor by two small arms so that when the gun elevates or depresses, the vision port follows along exactly. Yeah, we've got to try and get it back in the same position to match the other one, otherwise the gun will be up and the vision block will be down. It's got a little cam, so it rotates around, off centre, and then it engages in this hole in the cam, so it can, it can be off centre and that's a locking screw that goes in afterwards. They only rotate probably about 10 to 15 degrees, about that much like that, because all they actually move. So. I'm not sure how we go getting it in. You got your hand out of that? You got it? Yeah. I'll, I'll jump in. You got it? Can you get it? I've got to get right down low. I have to tilt it back a bit more. That's it. How close are you there? Can you jump around here on? Yep. On that crease. What's that? Nice. Probably that, uh, what's my name? I'd say that's that's right. You have a look, just see what you reckon. Like, if you're looking at that vision block, looking at that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it's got like final adjustment the other way around. Yeah. It's got like final adjustment, this thing. Give it a little tap, maybe. Yeah. Just give it a it's not super, is it super tight? Won't be able to do them until it's in tighter. Yeah. 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 Happy check. He's good. Straight in at the bottom. We'll come in at the bottom a bit more. Oh, they are up there. Close. Just drop the bottom, the top out a bit. Give the bottom. The boys have fitted the gun shield and now move on to the cradle mount. Yep. It's just on the, it's the fine threads, so just be careful. Yep. Up. 
it's still moving. What we will need to do is like oil this up or grease it. the wire wheel. Okay. That's all. Right. Bit of pain in there. Yep. You happy with the heavy end? Up a bit at the back there, just. We don't have a complete breech assembly for this gun unfortunately, and we didn't manage to find a spare one amongst Jono's collection. Fortunately we won't be sending this tank into battle against the Africa Corps anytime soon. If we come across an appropriately deactivated one, we'll be sure to fit it in at a later date. That's the mount for the 30 cal. And these are the plates that enable the various parts of the cocking and firing assemblies to be mounted. That other one, Jess, that you got there, this is mainly there on the side. Once again, this we haven't ever had this finished yet, so there's two, two bolts in the front there. Yeah. Our breach has been oxy cut straight through here, straight through there, it's all been re welded, and then the the barrel itself being plugged, so. That's just something we've got to do here, that, hey? That, well, that's how they came to us, so we, we would have had to do something, but luckily that's already done. Oh, what I've got here is, I believe, it's, it's the headrest for the gunner, and it's, it would have had probably a rubber coating on it, rubber bumper here, it goes on that so you can rest his head against it, the view through the vision block. The poor guy has the machine gun box above his head. Yeah, it's really right there, isn't it? 
That's why a lot of, well, the Americans and uh, most of the other tank crews actually had to wear helmets inside the tank. And finally, we have the recoil guard. We've assembled all the parts we have and it's looking great. That's all we have time for today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and I'll see you on the next one. Nah, just kidding. We've got to fit the drive shaft. This is the final piece that needs to be fitted before the moment of truth. It's a little bit finicky. Is that it for them or you need another one uh, of each? I need one more bolt. That's okay, we, we've got access here so we can get a, we'll get a socket on, you know what I mean? Just go through and start there and just put there. Oh. Jesse has the honours. This is the biggest test since we took away the stands and had it resting on the suspension units. Ryan gives Jesse a little bit of a brief on the controls and emergency stop procedure. Works first, start it and then stall it pretty much after about five seconds of running and see what's and pop it into this drive and then see what happens. Yep. Right. Okay. And then there's nothing else for it but to fire it up and see if it'll drive.
crack and barrel. It moves. I'm happy. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> How's she handle, Jess? Yeah, it's alright. It actually reverses pretty good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's handy. Back up, back so up. We can, we can reverse it. We'll just reverse it around the truck. Yeah, that's that's fine. So the top of the auto flew it up. Yeah. We haven't actually had them drive yet. Um, so it would have soaked up a bit of uh, fluid out of, the, out of the pan then. Happy with everything so far? Yeah, so far everything seems good. Throttle's good. Um, idle's good. She got changes in the gears and everything nicely. Um, we're just uh, trying out, seeing what the steering and everything's like in it, you know. I think we've got to adjust the left. But I think both sides will adjust up, but the left side more. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you don't know until you start moving these things, you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. They all handle a little bit differently, don't they? Yeah, but yeah, no, it uh, seems good. Seems like it's got heaps of torque. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so, it yeah. would. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Great, good stuff. Should be a goer, yeah. <laughs> Alright, for real this time. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.